good on Jax? Uh, no, not yet. They're looking still. He's still classified officially as missing. I don't want to believe the worst until they actually show me a body. So. Well, if they do find a body, then Sonny's going to be facing murder charge for whatever he did to Jax's plane. Not, I don't want to talk about Sonny. We did play that yesterday at the warehouse. You know where I stand. Yes, I do. And just so you know where I stand, it's on your side. All right. Okay, always. Thanks, Ma. I know. So what brings you out to see your old mom? Uh, it's like you got something on your mind. Right? Well, uh, it's about Lulu. I figured as much. She doesn't like the birthday present I got her. Oh. Well, what was it? A key. A key to what? To my place. Okay. Uh, doesn't she already have one of those? Sure. Uh, but this one came with a nameplate for the mailbox. No flowers? Well, it had my name on it, too. Candy? No. Okay, so far this isn't sounding like a very romantic gift. I, I, uh, is there some kind of special significance to this nameplate? For yes, the... yes. I asked her to move in with me. Oh, oh. Okay, nice. Very, very practical. Key and the nameplate and everything. No flowers? No flowers, really? Mom. No flowers, okay? Like an idiot, I thought that maybe this was something that she would like. Okay. Uh, so what'd she say? Is she moving in? I don't know. She uh, hasn't given me an answer yet. You want to thank me? I'm right outside the door. I thought we set up rules for this kind of thing, Anthony. Again. Your father. I get your intention. It's it's actually a very it's a very sweet gesture, really. Um, but but I think your problem maybe was in the execution. How so? Honestly, a a key and a nameplate. You, you could have at least thrown in some flowers. Oh, jewelry. Jewelry right, is right, because nice. asking her to move in with me on its own is not enough. Right? Well, honey, it's it's beautiful and it's a big step and everything when you're ready for it. But when, but but if you think about it, she really could have asked her to move in with you any day of the week. And if you really think about it, it's kind of like giving her, you know, a new catcher's mitt and tickets to the Yankees game. It's kind of for you. This was Lulu's day to be celebrated. You know, your grandfather brought your grandmother flowers every single year on her birthday, Mother's Day, their anniversary, every year for 53 years. Okay, get it. Girls like flowers. Yes, right. Good. we do. Tell the girl that you're, that you're thinking about her. And it's not something that you just pull out of the air when you screw something up, either. What? Did you screw something up? No. No, I didn't screw anything up. Okay, what, what? Maybe there was, there's one thing. Dante, what did you do? It's, it's not even anything I did. It's something I didn't do. Okay, what didn't you do? There's something I know about that I haven't told. <sighs> Honey, secrets don't work in a relationship. You know, I that. know that. You know that. Mom, but this, I promised someone that I would not say anything, and I think this is something that she's better off not knowing anyway. It's for her own good. Okay. You know what? Forget the keys and the nameplates. You can even forget the flowers. What Lulu wants from you right now, I guarantee it, is the truth. I hate keeping things from Lulu. You know that, but this is this is this is different. It's well, different honey, why don't you tell me what it is, and maybe I can give you some advice. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you. Then she finds out I told someone before I even told her. Then I'm even worse trouble. What? What is Lulu in any kind of actual physical no, danger? No, 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 well, then Dante, that. she doesn't need you to be a cop with her right now. She needs you to be a man. A man that she can trust. How is she supposed to trust you if you can't be honest with her? Yeah, I don't need the secrets and lies lecture. Look, really. if you love Lulu, which you do, you have to tell her everything. You have to let her into your life, not just into your home. I mean, imagine how much harder it's going to be to keep the secret once she moves in with you. Uh, that's if she moves in with me, not at all. Aren't you going to invite me in? Well, it might happen.
help if I knew who you were first? <laughs> you know exactly who I am. Just like I know exactly who you are. But if you'd like to make it official... Hi. I'm John. The younger, better-looking, far less crazy Zakara. Nice bracelet, by the way. My pop splurged. I did my research. He always splurges when there's something in it for him. So I got you the matching earrings. And you think there's something in it for you? So suspicious. Cautious. Huh. I hear you're working out a deal with my father. Oh, really? Where'd you hear that? From you, actually. You're gonna give me what I paid for. With a minor caveat. Sounds like a good one. I got you the goods on Tracy, and you can use that to get whatever it is you want to get over on her. But you leave Edward alone. Is there a war coming? Let's just say the plot is coming up with that damning evidence on Tracy. I managed to come up with something even worse about you. You care to expand on the details? I didn't get to where I am by telling tales out of school. If you did know me, you'd know that already. Fair enough. Yeah, I'd like a bottle of your finest champagne set up to the room, please. You also know I'm a recovering alcoholic. The champagne's for me. I'd also like a bottle of your finest sparkling water and a box of chocolate-dipped strawberries. Perfect, thanks. Chocolate-dipped strawberries, really? <laughs> Bit of a cliché, don't you think? You do know that myth about the being an aphrodisiac, really just that, a myth. Spoken like somebody who's tested the theory. If you think you can seduce me into talking, don't waste your time. <laughs> How could I seduce you, period? It's a bad time. Hey, hey, you, you just missed Dante, if that's what you're here to see. Dante was here. He was 20 minutes ago. Well, what brings you to my neck of the woods? I was just gonna go see Maxie. I wanted to have a little girl chat. Because my son's an idiot, right? What makes you he say that? He told me all about the birthday present, the real Don Juan, that kid, huh? Oh, uh, that. Yes. I mean, he came in for some advice. He told me that he asked you to move in with him and that you hadn't given him an answer yet. Well, I'm not, I'm not trying to put him off or anything. Da, 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 you don't have to explain. I mean, not to me, anyway. Actually, I don't think he deserves an explanation right away considering the gift he gave you, a nameplate and a freaking key. I mean, what, birthday shopping at the hardware well, store? he's trying Please. to be sweet. Don't, don't enable him. It was your birthday. And happy birthday, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, actually, I think your plan is just right. Just, just let him sweat it out a bit before you go ahead and say yes. I mean, you're, you're gonna say yes, right? I honestly don't know what I'm going to say to him. I, I was a little surprised by the gift. Well, of course you were. It was a bad gift. And just so you know, I raised my son better than that. I'm not big on gifts, as long as they're from the heart. And this is Dante we're talking about. Everything he does comes from the heart. Oh, honey, you don't know how good it makes me feel to hear you say that. It makes me feel like I did something right. You did. He's an amazing man. Well, thank you. And just so you know, after the earful I gave him this morning, he's going to come up with something fantastic for your birthday, whether you're big on presents or not. We had a drink. You can go now. What's the rush? I say we get to know each other a little bit. Who knows, maybe we will find out we have more in common than we thought, huh? Really? Like what? Well, you appear to be a very beautiful woman, and from what I hear, I'm a halfway decent-looking guy, so... Flirting won't get you any closer to what you want. How about just flirting for the sake of flirting? Come on. Hmm? Are we getting warmer? Something tells me that that uh, little aphrodisiac theory of yours was tried out with the wrong lab partner. Hmm. Not bad, though I usually prefer milk chocolate. It's getting kind of late, don't you think? It's actually the middle of the day. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's late somewhere. You're really good at this game, aren't you? Is that a compliment? Look, I know about the deal that you're working with Tracy and my father. Let me give you a little tip. When you're trying to seduce someone, don't bring up your daddy. 
What's it gonna take to get you to talk to me? What's it gonna take to make you leave? What's it gonna take to ensure that I stay? Good for you. I'll let you know when we get there. Oh, we're already there. You are such a tease. Now, now, now. No need for name calling. You didn't think it was going to be that easy, did you? That I was that easy? <laughs> okay, maybe I underestimated you. I, I did. I underestimated you, and, and you're not going to talk. So how about we just finish what we started, huh? I'm thinking now. Could untie me and I'll go. I gotta hand it to you, Sakara man. You've got fabulous taste in jewelry. <laughs> mm. Perfect. Wait, seriously? You're just gonna leave me here? Just for a little while. Looks like you could use a bit of cooling down. And besides, I have an errand to run. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. I, no more games. Uncle. You can't just leave me here. Oh, I forgot. You must be starving. Here. Ah, no, come on. Have yes. A straw um, there. Mm. Uh, I spit from my mouth. Sky. Sky. Come on. Sky. It's really nice to have you in my corner, but I honestly don't need a makeup gift from him. I didn't have a problem with the way that he asked me to move in. I just didn't know if I could say yes right no, away. I, honey, I get it. It's a really big step moving in with no, somebody. No, no, no. Maybe it, I'm not worried about it. I, I mean, I know that we're going to be fine living together when it happens. We're practically living together already anyway. I just, I've had a lot of things going on in my life in the past few months, and yeah. Lucky's wife just died, and I don't know. I feel like I need to focus on him, and then then worry about myself after. I'm so sorry about Lucky's wife and all that family stuff is so difficult. But but honey, you gotta make sure that you take time to focus take care on myself. Of yourself I know, I know, I know. I just need to know that Lucky's gonna be okay first. Okay. 